Egypt's modern art scene, a thriving and vibrant community, can trace its roots back to a man for whom art was a hobby, not profession, for most of his life. Mahmoud Said, born in Alexandria in 1897, Said was a scion of the royal family whose father, Mohammed Said Pasha, was the Egyptian prime minister for many years and whose niece, Safinaz Zulfikar, became the queen. Said went to university for law, becoming first a lawyer for the mixed courts and then a judge. He began to paint in his teens, and when he was about 50 years old, he retired from his career in law to focus on his art, although he never actually worked as a professional artist. Early on in his artistic endeavors, Said developed a painterly style that he later became known for. He used simplified forms and rich, earthy tones that eventually got him adopted into the Egyptian surrealist movement as an honorary member. His paintings were not quite surrealist in form, but they did render figures and scenes from around Egypt with an almost dreamlike quality, and some of his landscapes and backgrounds were from his own imagination. He also made use of some cubist techniques and often dipped into social realism. His subjects give insight into the lives of Egyptians at the time and include a variety of people. Everyone from the upper-class aristocracy to prostitutes found their way into Said's canvases. Local women made frequent appearances in his work as he believed that they embodied a kind of pure beauty that was intrinsic to Egyptian women. All of Said's works were steeped in an intense love for Egypt and his paintings are almost synonymous with the national spirit. Said died on his 67th birthday of an asthma attack in 1964. He painted over 400 pieces in his lifetime, and while not among international artistic elites, he is legendary for bringing modern art to Egypt and using European techniques to portray his beloved people and homeland in new and poignant ways.